Welcome everyone. In this video, I will try to show you a solution for homing using the Axel Stepper library. So as you can see, we have a stepper motor here. I put together a very simple frame uh, with a lead screw and uh, there is a nut here with this block. So then this block can move up and down. We have a TB6600 uh, 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 stepper motor driver. It's a very nice uh, circuit. And then we have an Arduino Uno. Uh, I have a LED here because I want to see uh, when I switch this uh, micro switch. And uh, we have a power supply which gives the power to the control circuit. So everything is wired up. You will see how to connect everything uh, in the code. So what we basically want to do with the homing that we want to define a default position for the object which is moved with the step promoter. So for example, it can be for this purpose. So we want to have a position, which is the default position, or we want to uh, use it as a safety feature. So for example, you don't want this uh, block to hit either the coupling or the bearing here. So somewhere you put this kind of uh, switch, which is basically a micro switch or limit switch, if you can see it. And uh, whenever this is pressed, then it will trigger something in the code and it will uh, stop the movement of the motor. Uh, what is tricky here is that uh, I'm using the Axel Stepper library, but I'm also using uh, attach interrupt, which means that whenever we have uh, something uh, uh, from the outside, so for example, we press a switch, then uh, the Arduino immediately jumps to that code and uh, also uh, does what is defined in that code. So what I did that instead of uh, tracking the steps, like uh, how many steps uh, we moved from the origin and instead of moving back the same, I just uh, defined the origin of this or the limit of, of this uh, structure or frame uh, manually. So I will say that uh, I want to have this position nearby the uh, bearing as my origin. Then I will uh, see how I move this block and I will see how should I uh, place this uh, micro switch. And then whenever I uh, move this block, I will know that if I ask the motor to do the homing, then it will move in a certain direction, which I have to code it, which I have to code, and it will move with a certain speed, which I have to uh, code as well. But whenever the limit switch is hit, so the default position is reached, then everything will stop. So this is not, maybe not a safe option, but instead of using the while, which can basically make your code stuck, maybe. Then uh, you can move this uh, back and forth with your, uh, according to your wish. But whenever this switch is pressed, then uh, everything will stop immediately. And you have to be very careful because you have to define a very nice uh, settings with the speed and the acceleration, because if you are moving the uh, the, uh, if you moving with high speeds, then uh, there will be some inertia. So maybe the block will move a bit more than you want. That's uh, one problem. And also if you all of a sudden stop with the motor, if uh, from high speeds and with a lot of load on the lead screw, then you can damage the motor. If you are moving just something like this, or you have a similar structures or um, devices as a 3D printer, it's not a problem. But if you have like larger motor than this, 
and you are moving several kilograms and also you are using something uh, if you are having high speeds then I don't suggest you to use this solution so now we see that what I will do here is I have this block you can see it's not fixed so this block will move in this direction so towards this bearing here and then I just uh, I did not fix it because I want to show you something I just put this here like this so the limit switch is just here at the tip of my finger so when this block reaches the the limit switch the motor should immediately stop so I have already written the command to into the terminal so if everything is correct I just have to start uh, by pressing the enter so this will be a bit noisy but uh, yeah it's you will see <laughs> so uh, we could see that uh, the block basically pressed the limit switch and uh, everything immediately stopped so this is basically a homing and uh, I will explain it more in the code, but I will show you that uh, now I define another uh, direction. So I will move towards the motor and uh, similar distance and uh, maybe even higher speed. So prepare for the noise again. I click and it stops immediately. So again, now even higher speed so I hope it will uh, work but uh, I, I stop it manually by just uh, making a click so now I send a command and it stops immediately so uh, without uh, having while and uh, other uh, loops we just have the attach interrupt and the micro switch so we have that we put our micro switch somewhere where we want to have the home position or default position or we want to have a limit because at the end of the day this is a limit switch uh, we put it there and then we define it in our code that whenever this switch or some if you have multiple switches whenever one of the switches are activated the motor should stop but uh, in order to be consistent then you have to know that when you are homing which direction you should move so that you should manually define as i already told you and you also have to take care about the uh, speed and acceleration so i will show you in the code that uh, when we send the command which is a homing command then we set up the speed, the acceleration, and the direction, and also the amount. So uh, the amount of steps, basically. So uh, we just define some insane amount of uh, steps. So whatever we do, this will, uh, this block will move to move until it reaches the switch. That's all, and then uh, it's quite simple. And since this project is based on one of my previous projects. Then I will just uh, show or I will just talk about the code which is involved in this part. But I will upload the whole code again with the additional part which is needed for the homing. And uh, you will be able to follow it in a better way. So now let's uh, jump to the code and uh, let's see what is happening in the brain of this Arduino device. So we are here at the code of the stepper motor with the access stepper library. So I will do a speed run on the uh, through those parts which I have already introduced in my previous video. So if you want to check that part, if you want to know more about the access stepper and this uh, TB6600 uh, stepper motor driver, so check that video. So yeah, we have to include the library first of all, and then uh, I just defined some uh, variables for the distance, for the speed, for the acceleration value, and for the comments. 
and you can see in the commented, commented uh, uh, spot here uh, I highlighted it that uh, we have several comments so like starting, uh, opening, uh, closing which is basically uh, changing the directions and then we can set the acceleration we can have the homing and we can stop just at the moment when we send the uh, comment to the to the Arduino then we have some boolean values which is basically the new data and run allowed and we define two pins one pin is for the LED that is just for having some visual feedback if we press the button and then uh, this uh, interrupt pin which is the pin number two uh, you should uh, know that not all the pins are compatible with this kind of function so if you are using Arduino Uno for example then you only have the pin number two and pin number three which is compatible with this and then according to our uh, connections we will use the uh, direction signal which is the uh, direction pin which is uh, connected to the Arduino's uh, pin number nine and the pauses or the clock is connected to the Arduino pin number eight so we go into the setup and just very quickly so we turn on the uh, internal uh, pull up here and we apply it on the pin number two of course and then we just define everything for the attach interrupt so this uh, will work with the interrupt pin it will initiate the stop mot motor function and it will be uh, yeah if it goes from high to low so there is a falling edge it will be activated but I have a comment here that falling should be low so when the pin is low it will uh, send uh, this uh, stop motor signal but maybe this is not a good idea because if you keep the button pressed then uh, the code may stuck in this uh, function because uh, this will be always true so if I write low here and press the micro switch then uh, and keep it pressed like as we move the block uh, towards the micro switch and when it hit the micro switch uh, it kept uh, pressed so uh, this will be always true so this function will be always running and we don't want that so uh, just keep it falling and then neglect this and then uh, this is just for the LED so it's turned off and then this is just the basic things uh, I have already talked about this in my previous video and uh, here what we do is basically the same everywhere except this part so I added this part to my uh, previous code so we have the homing here and that is uh, done by sending the H it's quite smart right so we send the uh, command H as homing and what we do is that we allow running and then we also s just print it to the terminal so we see it uh, on the on the terminal of the Arduino and we set up a very low acceleration we set up a very low speed and we define a very big distance so then we make sure that the block or the object that we want to move is actually reaching the micro switch so if we define two small distance here number of steps then uh, the object which we want to move to the zero or default position will never reach uh, it so homing make uh, the homing does not make any sense and we also have to be careful uh, about the direction so this really depends on uh, where you move your motor uh, where you move your object and which direction or which position you want to uh, have as a default position so this you have to uh, let's say experiment yourself yeah and then I wrote these two comments here which yeah the distance should be larger than the length of the wall uh, path that that's, that's makes sense because then it's uh, sure that it will reach the uh, final position 
but I also say that maybe this is not so safe because if the micro switch fails then uh, the motor will just keep running because nothing will uh, turn it off so it's not the safest option and then uh, if you remember we had this attach interrupt uh, function here then when it is triggered so we have a falling edge uh, made by the button by pressing the button then uh, we go to the stop motor which is down here and then uh, basically what we do here is uh, we switch off the run allowed uh, boolean or we switch it to false and then uh, we set the current position to zero so we manually make this zero we just make sure that we send out this message to the terminal so we know that it stopped and we stop the motor immediately as you could see on the demonstration or during the demonstration and uh, we disable the output so no current will run through the motor hopefully and then also I just uh, send another feedback like we press the button and then we just uh, make the LED pin high wait for two seconds and turn it off but maybe uh, this is not so good because as far as I uh, experienced the LED turns off much quicker so I think that uh, the delay is not working in this kind of uh, functions but I'm not sure but uh, this part works and that's the most important so you will be able to uh, stop your motor by using uh, this kind of solution. So I hope that it, this helped you and uh, this was useful for you and I, I really hope that uh, you learned something. So see you in the next video.